this video is on grid list component of material ui so grid list component is used to display a collection of items in a repeated pattern for example these images that we can this layout we can build using grid list or this layout so actually it's pretty useful if you want to have like headers like this one and headers for each of these items like this with one icon so all these components are provided in grid list similarly we can also create one single line grid list like this horizontal scrollable uh, images also these types of grid lists like one image is bigger than the other images like smaller than this one so it provides a lot of different customizable options so basically we have these components defined the first one is grid list it is used for the list component this is the parent component of all grid list style is used for its items in grid list then grid list style bar is used for this uh, this bar this uh, where we are showing this header uh, of these images and icon button is the button this button this is the icon button and list subheader this is the sub heading of one list for example this is the subheader of this list i'm using the previous application that we have created and here i have one json file it's an array of items each item has this id this title this description and one image this is the same image url for each of these items and one columns property uh, this one is not for all these items here i have added this for this first item then again fourth item like this i'll explain to you what we are going to do with these key value pairs so here to create this grid list first thing i need to add the grid list component at the top of the list then i'm gonna import it if i write it here then it yeah this is actually imported from my trading ui code this grid list is imported then for each grid list we need to give one cell height this is the height of each item suppose it is 200 then we need to define the number of columns suppose i am defining it as three and we can also use style property like for any other components that we can use so we can have one width suppose it is 800 and height suppose it is 600 so this is the grid list component and inside this list we are going to load each of these items that we will read from this data.json file for that i'll import it as data list from data.json so i'm gonna use map here data the list dot map and for each item for each of these items we will use this grid list tile grid list tile so this will load each of these items from this grid list so for grid list tile we need to provide one key and also we can provide also how many number of columns this grid list style should take like it's called columns so it's optional value so suppose uh, i'm not adding it now okay the key is i'm using this data dot id that's the this id and inside this style i'm gonna load this image from this data.image url so here we have this image key for one image url and i'm also give one 
fault value for data dot image and suppose it is data dot title if i run this app here so we have defined it as three columns its cell height is 200 and width is 800 and height is 600 so we have three columns here if i assign it as four then you can see that we have four columns so that was it is three for now here that i told you before that we can add one columns property so let me show you what it looks like so we have one columns here this if it is defined then we are using it this value or we are using one so then we have two so it's the first item is taking two columns the second item is one third item is one because we have not defined this then for the fourth items we are taking two we are taking two for the four right four items then we want grid list style bar so that we need to define inside this grid list style so it's called grid list style bar we can put it from here and we can give one title here so i'm using this title we give one subtitle here so i'm using this description that we have here this title and description then we can also give one action icon here so for this action icon we need to use one icon button for now i'll use this vector icons that is provided by uh, material UI. if you go to this getting started page you will find that we have this SVC icons for Material UI. So we need to use this npm command to install these icons. So I'm going to use this one. Well, then I'm going to use this npm start to start it again. So here we can, here inside this info icon, we can uh, icon button we can add one icon so for suppose i am using info icon so you can get all these icons list so if you search in google like material ui icons then this is the page that you have like more than thousands of icons so you can search for this icon name anything that you want to add I'm using this info icon, so I need to import this one. Then I can use it directly here, info icon, and also I can use a style. Suppose I'm giving it the color of white. Then we need this. We need to just close this grid list style where done now info icon is not defined in direct okay icon button is not defined because we have not imported it so you can see that this we have this title then description and this info icon and one more thing is that uh, we can also add style to this grid list style bar so we have these titles here in the center if you want to align them to the start then just add one style here style uh, we can add text align that is start so yeah these are move to start then one more component that we have is the list header component so before this list is started we can give one heading or header to this list so here i'm going to use 
one more grid in this tile. Drawing key for this. Suppose the key name is subheader. And how many columns that we want for this tile? We can also give one style for this style. Like we don't want the height as 600 for this style. So we can define the height as suppose it's 50. And also we can add text align. Let me give it as start. Then if I go here, we can add this list subheader component. List of items, let's name it. So this is the header component that we can add for this this grid grid list. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Bye.